Often we don't recognize that God allows adversity in our lives because He loves us. It's for our good. Listen to the story from Zig Ziglar. This is a funny one. The giraffe is the largest mammal that gives birth while standing up. I don't speak giraffe, but I can imagine when the baby giraffe, what the baby giraffe must think when he bounces on the ground from that great height. He just left a warm, cushioned quarters in which all of his needs, comforts, and security were provided. Now he finds himself bouncing off, comparatively speaking, hard, cold, unwelcoming ground. <laughs> Almost immediately thereafter, a new trauma occurs in the baby giraffe's life as he struggles to his knees. Mama giraffe gets busy persuading him to stand up. She does this as he wobbles to his feet by giving him a swift kick to prod him to faster action. No sooner does he reach his feet than Mama delivers a booming kick that knocks the baby giraffe back down. <laughs> What's going on here? I can well imagine the baby giraffe thinking, well, make up your mind, Mom. First you kicked me to make me stand up, then you kicked me and pushed me back down. Which is it? You know, that process is repeated several times because Mama Giraffe loves her baby. Mama Giraffe knows that the only chance for survival her baby has is to be able to quickly get up and move out of harm's way. Yes, kicking the baby up and down seems like a strange way to show love. But for a baby giraffe, it's the ultimate expression of love. Just be careful. This approach definitely won't work in the people world, but the principle will. Real love is evidenced when you do what is best for the other person, whether or not they appreciate it at that moment. You know, Zig makes some great points here. God wants to use the adversities, the difficult circumstances, the winter experiences in your life for your good. They're meant to help you mature and become like Christ. Proverbs 13, 12 tells us, hope deferred makes the heart sick, but desire fulfilled is a tree of life. You know, sometimes it's easy to get a sick heart, especially when you've been hoping and praying and believing and doing everything you think you're supposed to be doing and you still don't see the answers to your prayers. Maybe you've been hoping for God to send you a spouse, to restore a broken relationship, to reach a wayward son or daughter, to heal a sick loved one, to deliver you from an addiction or give you a financial breakthrough. Perhaps you've grown weary and you're heart sick because you haven't seen the fulfillment of your hopes and prayers. My friend, don't give up. Keep believing. God is faithful. Your harvest is coming. I've heard there's a certain type of Chinese bamboo plant that's planted as a sprout. And although you faithfully water it and care for it, the plant shows no signs of growth during the entire first year. Even in the second and third and fourth years, there's no signs of growth. Think of that. Despite your best efforts to care for this little plant, it still doesn't look like anything's happening. Where is it? And when you're just ready to give up on this seemingly good-for-nothing plant, something amazing happens in the fifth year. In the fifth year, five years later, the plant grows 90 feet in about five weeks. That is amazing. And perhaps you've been waiting a year, maybe two years, three years, four years, but still no harvest. Don't lose heart. Your breakthrough may be just ahead. If you have a sick heart today because your hopes haven't been realized, the Bible reminds you in Galatians 6, 9, don't grow weary while doing good. In due season, you will reap if you don't give up. My friend, don't become weary or heartsick as you wait for your harvest. God is faithful. Your new beginning, I promise you, it's coming. I want to thank you for the time that you've spent with me today, and I encourage you to explore the many resources on this website to help you stand strong in your faith as you patiently wait and persevere for your day of new beginning. We're going to continue our journey together tomorrow. I hope you join me. God bless you.